All right, on the Z650. <laughs> they caught me trying to put the 360 camera on here, so I couldn't do that for this one. So just GoPro for this round. But again, taking out the Z650 ABS. So this is a parallel twin, 649 cc's. I believe they did add traction control to this bike. Yeah, Kawasaki traction control is now on this 650. Pretty impressive. Very approachable bike, I think, with the seat height. It's an engine that's not going to get you in trouble either. All right, guys, we're all set and ready to go with your thumbs up for Care 31. Okay, guys, listen carefully for the name of your bike before departing at 4R. Do a Ninja 1000 SX ZX6R. Let's go on the Z650. Or Z650 TLR. Man, I feel like my feet up are up really high. This is made for people shorter than me. That's my first impression. That's okay. But I think that's what makes this approachable bike too is it's not a big bike, it's not a tall bike. In fact, I could see this as even a beginner bike. I mean, 650 is probably about the most you want in a beginner bike, 650, 700 range. Man, this is an itty bitty bike. <laughs> I just feel so small on it. Or I feel so big on it. But a good looking TFT dash here as well. And this Kawasaki Parallel Twin is really nice. Yeah, so other than my legs being kind of tucked up tight just due to my height, this is um, a very comfortable bike. I mean, I don't think it's uncomfortable, but it's probably something that with my size, I would want I'd want a little break after a while. So while we're cruising along here, I was considering riding the Z400 or the Ninja 400 that they had out because that's a very interesting bike for beginners. But they also just released the next generation, which is the... Uh, the Ninja 500 and the Z500 and so I thought it almost kind of a waste to even try out the 400s. I think the 650 is a really good engine like I said. Beginners can handle this one as well and it has enough power that you're not going to outgrow it after a year or so. When I started riding, I started riding on a 250 because everything I saw was you got to start on a 250 or a 300. If you're north of six feet and 200 plus pounds, you want way more than a 250 or 300. <laughs> this bike is small enough that I think it's approachable for most people. If you're any taller than me at 6'2 and above, I don't think I'd recommend this bike necessarily. You would just feel scrunched over time. Not bad for short little hauls, but super nimble. I mean, you could flick this thing around so easy. I don't think you can go wrong with these parallel twins. They are super popular now. A lot of the big companies have come out with new parallel twins for their next generation of bikes. Honda's done it with their Hornet and the Transalp, their 750. Suzuki has done it with their uh, GSX-S or GSX-8S something like that and the 8R and the V-Strom 800s so now it should be a P-Strom it's just that they're so dang efficient you get a lot of bang for your buck and so that's just what it is I got the Versus 650 behind me the new one man it looks good over to those turns very nicely good handling which you should expect on any of the z-line triangle headed snakes ahead Whee! was i supposed to high five that guy i don't know Oh yeah, 
this there's no problem with this engine you can easily have fun with the Kawasaki 650 put some of those stats up on the screen right now um, again it's not always about the stats it's about the feel of the bike so definitely come demo these bikes if you're interested uh, check out Kawasaki's website under their events see if the demo truck is coming to an area near you so big thanks to Kawasaki for offering this event big thanks to Ride Now Power Sports here in Canton Georgia for hosting this event as well yeah Also, thanks to my ride partners, 509 for the Mach 5 Commander helmet with a integrated Cardo system. And also thanks to Cardo. If you're in the market for a communicator for your helmet, check out cardosystems.com and use promo code Ghost on Two Wheels at checkout for a maximum discount. So back to the ride. This is just a fun ride. I think if you're going in the twisties and around town and just having some short little bursts of fun short rides these naked bikes are an absolute blast the z650 is no exception others in this class check out the sv650 from suzuki and yamaha's mt07 the mt07 is a very spunky motorcycle and Maybe has just a little bit more pizzazz than this one, but uh, not by much. I mean, this, this thing can go if you want it to. This is a fun bike. Again, no problem leaning this bike over, getting into the turns. It's a good, good feel on that. Not quite as much engine braking as some of the other models. <laughs> nice. Another benefit of these smaller bikes, you know, of course, just around town, also, just storing it in your garage is not going to take up too much room. Woo! Not a feature-rich bike. Uh, the middleweights are still just, you know, not loaded with tech. But it is pretty cool to see Kawasaki put traction control on a 650 bike. I think you'll start to see that trickle down even into the lower CC bikes, just like ABS did. ABS used to be kind of more of a premium, now it's more standard. I think you're seeing the same with traction control. And finally, I think I'm in top gear. So cruising in top gear, mid-50s, pretty smooth ride. I would not want to take this on the highway for very long stretches. You could probably put like a little fly screen on the front and that could help quite a bit actually take the wind off your chest. But I think you would still have just a lot of that wind fatigue over time this is not a bike to just slay bunches of miles it's a bike to go around town enjoy some twisty roads and then just have a good time good stopping power it's probably the most i've really tested out the brakes at this point controls here they just cycle through your stats down here voltage meter miles per gallon instant average range average speed total time cool and then pressing on the top arrow you get trip meters odometer and that's it Let's see if we still got the kawasaki neutral finder like i'm in stopped in first gear i lift up really hard and it won't go to second it just goes right to neutral that's cool little nice to have that Kawasaki does. I like the look of the Z650. The Z650, the Z900, they are mean looking bikes. 
they're just a little small for me. So personally, would I buy a Z650 or a Z900? No, just because of ergonomics. I mean, yes, you can change the ergonomics of bikes, but uh, I mean, nah, not for me. But still, a great bike. Uh, you know, if it wasn't just for the size, this would definitely be on my radar, even as a beginner. All right, excellent ride, though. 